What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about a few different topics in this video here again today. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about Chucky Season 3. We'll be talking about X. And then we'll be talking about The Last of Us to round out the video. So just to kick it off at the top with Scream 6. Scream 6 has received another stamp of approval by someone who isn't involved with the actual filmmaking process directly tied to the movie. Viewer Anon revealed this in a tweet saying that someone had watched the final cut of the movie and this person seems to have loved it. Well, I guess without knowing who who the hell they are, maybe this person did work on the project potentially, but I highly doubt this. Uh, I think I don't think this is another Kevin Williamson situation. But based on what we have seen, I really do think that Scream Six has the chance to become the third best entry behind Scream Two. The visuals and the direction might elevate any story weaknesses, which is always great to see when a story can be enhanced by the team bringing it to life. Uh, I'll share with you when you guys can expect to hear more thoughts on the movie from people that have seen it next month when I find out the embargo date, because you all that hate spoilers, I will say this, you literally have until that embargo lifts to avoid spoilers at all costs. Not everybody is going to just use the internet how you want them to use it. The internet is rated E for everyone, not Y for you. So start making your arrangements. Don't blame others when spoilers start showing up because you have plenty of time to, to prepare. But it was nice to know that Viewer Non was told that someone else has seen the movie. They seem to have loved it. Now, I didn't go into any specifics as to what they might have loved. I can only imagine one of the things they had to have loved was Jenna Ortega as Tara Carpenter. Jenna Ortega has just been killing it and seeing her return to the Scream franchise and seeing her back in the role as Tara Carpenter definitely I feel like it's going to be one of the highlights coming out of Scream 6 for me whether or not that chemistry that she has with Melissa Barrera's character or Sam is another highlight that that's yet to be seen but I'm certain that's another highlight for the for that individual but we'll see what happens when the movie comes out and what we all collectively think about the movie together when we all get to talk about it freely so just to dive into the next topic here at hand related to Chucky season 3 Don Mancini has confirmed that he indeed has most of season three for Chucky mapped out and ready to go, or he has had it mapped out and ready to go. He revealed this during a sit down interview with USA Insider. Now, this provides more understanding to why season three is moving forward so fast, and it confirms my suspicions that I had, as you heard me express during some other it other videos I, I meant to say that I did that he has indeed been working on three while waiting for the official confirmation from the studio that's what it seems from his now newer most recent interview being proactive is something I will never look down on it's always something I will commend so kudos to Don Mancini for that he did also tease that we could have more legacy stars back but said to mostly stay tuned he didn't specifically state that yes there will be more outside of andy kyle and you know tiffany and nika he didn't say that any anyone besides them will be back but he simply just said stay stay tuned i think season three is going to feature the return of De silva and tyler those are just my guesses my predictions if not them of course please if we can for one final time see Andy on screen with his mother, see him interact with Detective Norris in some fashion, that'll be great. We haven't seen those three actors on screen together since the original film. I wasn't even around when the original film dropped. I, I can only imagine how some of you who were around when that original movie dropped must feel, knowing that you haven't been able to see those three on screen together in the Child's Play universe since the series inception. I just feel as though it would be a nice thing to finally see after all these years, those three actors back in their roles, sharing a room together, sharing in the conversation uh the most closest thing we got was at the end of curse of chucky if you watch the unrated version anyway when we got that post credit scene with andy so we'll see what happens uh but what do you guys think will be the central conflict going into chucky season three what do you think chucky will be upset about this time because this dude is always mad of course just to jump into an update on x so mia goth has shared an update on not X, I meant to say Maxine. <laughs> Mia Goth has shared an update on Maxine. She said this when speaking to Variety. It's the biggest story of the three with the highest stakes. Maxine has gone through so much at this point. When we find her in this new world, she's just a force to be reckoned with. She goes through some pretty wild adventures. Maxine, we know, from what I can tell, is going to serve as the concluding chapter in what seems to be the trilogy for X that began last year with X, followed by a prequel released later that same year titled Pearl. I think that Maxine is going to have a lot to say about the adult entertainment industry. I don't know why. I mean, it can't possibly have anything to do with the overly pornographic nature of the title or anything of that matter. <laughs> 
Um, I'm excited to see this trilogy conclude, and I'm glad it's allowed Mia Goff to garner the recognition that she has. Uh, I'm also certain this will be another rich character study the way that Pearl was if Maxine is going to, of course, carry the story of the movie that's titularly titled after that character. Uh, my hopes is that A, it's one that's character driven, something that Mia Goff gets to just shine in, demonstrate her talent, and we know she has. We've seen that since we saw her in X. Pearl, and now we get to round it out with Maxine. I'm ready to catch back up with the character of Maxine. We haven't seen her since uh, the conclusion of X after she escaped from Pearl's farm. So we'll see where she's at in her life. My only thoughts are in the fact that she might, of course, be doing what the title is hinting at. She's out here living her life as a adult entertainment star and we'll see what the pros and cons of that are and what this what the commentary will have to be as it pertains to that because i'm certain this movie is going to commentate on it i mean how could it not look at the title and look at how many x's are in it <laughs> so we'll see if it brings anything of substance to commentate on with it because you know there are there can be some commentary in that many people might take issue with we'll see what we get ultimately when this movie drops so just to round out by talking about the last of us the last of us is already a hit for hbo and hbo max because the series clocked in apparently 4.7 million viewers for its pilot debut this past sunday this is a nice thing to see for me only because the show is already off to a strong start i would say and i'm hearing that episode three is one of the most well done pieces of television in history by those who have already watched the entire show after viewing episode one, me personally, I'm in love with how it's able to capture the magic of the game that I grew up with. The production design down to the great tension building is just simply near perfect. I get to check out episode two, I believe tomorrow afternoon. I'll have my recap recap for episode two up pending on the channel. It will not air, of course, until after it has aired on HBO and HBO Max on Sunday later that night so let me know what you guys have thought about the last of us so far down in the comment section below did you enjoy episode one did you not enjoy episode one are you loving what pedro pascal is doing to bring the character of joel to life are you loving what bella ramsey is doing to bring the character of uh ellie to life do you not do you wish they didn't do so many different things i think it's near perfect i think this is one of the best video game adaptations we've gotten in recent memory and i hope this show is able to effectively remain strong uh after the second season because i think the second season definitely will be the second video game so we'll see if they get a season three what they want to do after that but let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video